in this video we will discuss the problem immediate smaller element so the problem says that we have been given an integer array arr which is of size n and for each element in the array we have to check whether the right adjacent element of the array is a smaller if the next element is a smaller we have to update the current index to that element otherwise we have to update the current index with minus one let us quickly check the sample test case here so suppose if we have been given the sample test case in which we have been given five elements and the elements are like this suppose we have four then we have two then we have one then we have five and then we have three okay so now for four if i check for four then it's right the adjacent element adjacent element towards the right side is two so is two smaller than four yes so in that case i'll update two here for this index right after this i'll move to the next index then i'll check for 2 and 1 because for 2 the adjacent element towards the right side is 1 so is 1 lesser than 2 yes so i'll update this with 1 after this what will happen we will check 1 with the adjacent element towards the right that is 5 so for 1 its adjacent element towards the right side is 5 which is greater than it so basically i'll update it with minus 1 because for for 1 there is no like the right element is not lesser than it is not lesser than it after that for 5 if i see towards the right side so it's uh, smaller like if it's it's right element is smaller than it so i'll update it with minus 1 then for 3 if i see so the element towards its right is lesser than like there's no element towards its right so i'll update it with minus 1 correct uh, so basically for 5 i have mistakenly written, written this for 5 the element towards the right was lesser than it so i'll update it with 3 so if i see the overall array so it looks like what 2 1 minus 1 then 3 and minus 1 so you can see the output 2 1 minus 1 3 and minus 1 that is what we are getting so basically what we need to say is that we'll iterate for all the indexes and we will check for i and i plus 1 so if a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 right so if the element at the ith index is greater than the element at the i plus 1th index so if a particular element at the ith index is greater than the element towards its right side in the like in that case I, the right element towards the right side is adjacent element towards the right is lesser so in that case as the problem statement says we have to update a of i with a of i plus one okay otherwise what we have to do is if that is not so so if the right element is not lesser like in this case when you can observe that for one its right element is what five which is greater than it okay so in that case if it is not lesser so we'll update a of i with nothing but minus one and we'll do this for all the indexes but one thing that we need to observe is that when suppose that when our i is standing here then we do not have an i plus one we cannot have an i plus one right otherwise this will give us an error so we will basically keep our i till here only we will keep our i till n minus two only because uh, if i check for this for five i'll have three but for three i'll not have any adjacent element towards the right side so that means i will be lesser than n i will be going till lesser than n so basically i will be starting from zero i will be lesser than n uh, minus 1 okay and then i plus plus will be done so basically i will go maximum till n minus 2 now as we can see that for the last element we will not have any element towards its right side so we cannot compare anything right so we can simply say that a of n minus 1 so the last element of the array will be updated with minus 1 because since you do not have any element towards its uh, right side so that's why you will simply say that minus 1 will be the answer for that particular last index because there is no element towards the right side so obviously there is no smaller element as well right so that is what we will be doing and if you see so we are just traversing through the array once so the complexity will be order of n in terms of time complexity and the space complexity is going to be order of one only because we are not using any external data structure any extra space we are not using let's try and quickly implement the code so what i'll be doing here is i'll say that okay for int i starts from zero i is lesser than n then i plus plus after this what we will do is we will simply say in this part that if uh, like uh, we will run till i is less than n minus 1 uh, basically i will be starting from 0 and i will be less or equal to n minus 2 because i will not be checking for the last element because for the last element the adjacent element i plus 1 th element will not be existing so if it happens that rfi is greater than rfi plus 1 so if the current ith element is greater than the adjacent element uh, that is on the right in that case i need to update as the question says rfi should be equal to rfi plus 1 okay that is what we should do else if this is not the case so if the if we do not if the right adjacent element is not lesser so in that case i'll update rfi with minus 1 now what i will after do after that what i will do is i'll simply say that array of 
and minus one i'll initialize uh, update it with minus one because for the last element there will be no element towards the right side so we will not have an answer for it and we'll simply return a like we'll simply return the from the function after doing this because we the function type is void so now let us try and compile this code to see if it works on the samples or not so you can see that it is giving the same output on the samples let's try and submit this code as well you can observe that our solution was able to pass all the test cases. If you understood this problem, make sure to hit the like button, comment down understood as well. Thank you.